Strategies. I'm the founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. And today I'd like to talk to you about the new Dairy Revenue Protection Program. And the question is, is it right for me? Is it right for you and your operation? Uh, this was introduced in uh, early November of 2018. And uh, the question is, is it perfect for my operation? And I would say that in general, no, it's not perfect. Uh, but I do think it's a very positive tool that dairymen can use to set some minimum milk prices uh, as we move forward in the uh, currently difficult milk uh, price situation for the industry. Uh, but I think there's a caveat that we need to keep in mind. This program, the Dairy Revenue Protection Program, just like any other program, is only good and helpful and useful if, in fact, you actually learn how to use it to make it benefit your operation and then actually put it into use. So keep that in mind. That may sound silly, but there's been a lot of programs that are out there that people have historically not used, and I think it's imperative that we, that we learn how to use the program and, uh, and then move forward. Um, I think it has some real pros and some cons, and I'd like to start by going through the pros. First of all, the premiums for these options, you're basically buying uh, put options to put a minimum milk price, um, uh, put a floor basically under your milk price, and they're essentially being purchased at about half price, give or take a little bit, That's, call it half price though. And the reason is that the federal government is subsidizing the purchase or acquisition of these put options. Uh, another positive is that you can go out up to five quarters ahead. Uh, so it's readily available with minimum milk prices. So you can, in fact, go ahead and set up a minimum amount of your milk with a minimum price under it for uh, today, for example, for the next five quarters. And then you can also, as you get clearer information, uh, if you have great pricing today, lock it all up, of course. But if not, uh, you can set these minimums and then just you can add to your positions as you go through each quarter or at least as you get closer to each upcoming quarter. I think another plus is that it helps you manage credit risk uh, for anyone that's borrowed money and frankly who hasn't the last four years in the dairy industry. Um, it, it also will help you to do better budgeting, um, uh, more accurate budgeting I think and forecasts going forward. The reason simply being that it'll give you a, a clearer picture of what your future milk prices are going to be over the next 12 months. Uh, one final benefit or pro for this program is that you get to pay the premiums, unlike normal puts and calls that you have to pay for up front. You're getting them at about half price, but you also get to buy them, pay the premiums for them, 15 days past the end of the quarter that you're covering each quarter. So, um, and theoretically, you would think if the program's working for you, that you would either, if milk prices were low, that you would receive a, a, a payment from which you could then pay your premiums at the end of the quarter. Uh, or if milk prices came in higher than the minimum that you set, you would have additional cash flow from which to pay those uh, minimal premiums. Uh, but I would make a point of clarifying that with the agent that you sign up. Um, the crop insurance agent, whoever it is, he or she will be able to explain that, the timing of these payments even better than I can. Um, <clears throat> now, let's talk about some of the cons. There are some limitations. I believe you can cover only 90% maximum of your total production. Um, and then there are coverage percentages. For example, if you set a $16 per hundredweight minimum price, but you're at the 70% coverage level, uh, you could potentially come in at $11.20 coverage per hundredweight, which is well below anyone's break-even probably today. Uh, however, you can also do 90%, which would put you at $14.40. And I believe there is an indemnity uh, option that you can add where I think you can go up to, I had a client that did 1.3 times, so his milk price is going to be well up upwards of $16, even in the current low price. I think it was like $15.80 that he would be in, which is above his break-even. So, again, it's imperative that you know your break-evens. And if you look at our website, you'll find some programs to help you uh, determine.
determine what your break-evens are. Uh, this stuff nonetheless can be a little bit confusing and I think it's important you remember once you set minimum prices for a quarter you can't change them. You can add to your positions I believe as you move forward as I discussed earlier but you cannot um, eliminate a prior position. You can however I believe use some offsetting calls call options in the CME market, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange market. The downside of that, of course, is that, again, you're going to have to come up with the money for those premiums ahead of time before you actually can acquire them. So the program obviously has a few limitations, uh, but overall, I still think and encourage you to, uh, it's something you should go check out. Check into the program, learn what you can, and remember that the sign-up for the Dairy Revenue Protection ends 15 days before the end of the prior quarter um, for coverage in the next quarter. So there are some deadlines that you need to meet. By the time you listen to this video and it goes public, uh, it's very possible that we can be past the December 14th or 15th um, sign-up deadline for the first quarter of 2019. But if, I hope you found this helpful giving you both the pros and the cons of the program, I think it's definitely something you should take a look at, the Dairy Revenue Protection Program. And this is the type of topic that we'll be covering in our new mastermind groups in early 2019, uh, talking about finance and strategic planning concepts. Uh, so watch for the announcements on that, or if you'd like to go check it out directly, go to www.success-strategies.com and uh, take a look. Uh, we'll be making an announcement there for signups uh, in early 2019. Again, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies Incorporated. I'm the founder of Success Strategies Inc. and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. And I want to wish you the very best of success. Thank you.